Hi, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Thanks. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So about a year ago I made a video about uh, how to install uh, Laravel with a Bulma frontend preset. But since then Laravel 7 came out and uh, this is not working anymore. And I just recently received a, a comment under my video that uh, one of our viewer cannot install the Bulma preset with Laravel because the uh, Laravel version issue. So I just thought I look into it. So basically I used this uh, Bulma frontend preset for Laravel framework and it's outdated now. Uh, it was good until Laravel 6 but since the Laravel 7 came out it's not uh, working anymore so I just looked into it and I cloned this uh, and I created my own way so it should be working now with you and as you can see it's a freshly created github uh, repository and uh, I updated the instructions as well I updated all the files so it's compatible with uh, Laravel 7 now and uh, you can use Composer require Laravel 7 frontend preset Bulma and it should work now but I just uh, demonstrated how to do it for you okay so let's just close that up so this is on my github and I will leave a link in the comments uh, in the description section Okay, so let's see how it works with Laravel 7 and Bulma frontend preset. So we will create a Laravel 7 application. Nothing strange here, we just need to type in Laravel new and your application name. So you can name your application whatever you want. So I will call mine blog just for simplicity but you can call it whatever you want okay it will take a while a couple of minutes so I speed the video up okay it's done now so the reason it uh, doesn't work anymore the old version because Laravel has changed the front-end uh, scaffolding so we need to use the Laravel UI to create our authentication and uh, Vue.js and Bootstrap or React. And if you scroll down at the very button, uh, as you can see, we can create uh, our custom preset. So that's what I just uh, did uh, in this fork. So I adjust the uh, files to this uh, new environment. So now we can use uh, these commands but we don't need to use this composer require Laravel UI it will do it for you so all you need to do just uh, follow these steps so we need to pull in this uh, package with composer so just copy this part and before you before you do it you need to enter into your uh, application because as you can see we are outside of the created folder so just see the into your application folder mine is called blog okay we are now inside this new Laravel application and we can paste our composer require Laravel 7 frontend preset uh, Bulma hit enter as you can see it's installing Laravel UI as well okay the next step is you can you have two options here one of them one of them is PHP artisan UI Bulma and one of, the other one is PHP artisan UI Bulma dash dash out so if you want the authentication out of the box with Laravel then you should use this PHP UI Bulma dash dash out so you will get login and registration page and the basic uh, migration file for the users table but if you don't need the authentication scaffolding just only the Bulma uh, CSS preset you need to use this uh, PHP artisan UI Bulma but we will 
go for the authentic authentication scaffolding. So I just copy this PHP artisan UI Bulma dash dash out. Okay, that's done. And as it is says, you need to run npm install. Uh, so everything gets downloaded as I mentioned it in the instruction as well npm install so let's just do that okay doc the npm install is done now the next step is npm run dev or npm run watch it doesn't matter both is the same so let's just use npm run dev but as I mentioned it here it will give you an error but I just show you anyway oh, I go for watch because most of the time that's what you use uh, during the development you use npm run watch so it will watch your files and recomply every time you change something in the CSS. Okay, and as we expected, we have this error at the line 86. So this is a problem with uh, Bulma extension, but we will fix it just in a minute. Let's open up your VS Code editor and open our flashly created Laravel application. Let's add it. And we need to fix this inside the node modules folder. You need to looking for the Bulma extension folder. Where is it? Here it is. Bulma extension, click on it you need to go to the Bulma sliders Bulma slider, click on it source folder sas folder and index.sas and you need to go down to line 86 here you go and as you can see we have this semicolon at the end of the line let's just delete it and if you go down to line 91 you need to delete that semicolon as well let's save it and as you can see it's automatically 100% successfully now so here was the error we saved the file and it's complied automatically if, you, if uh, it doesn't comply automatically you need to press ctrl C and you need to run npm run watch again and it will do it for you okay so you need to set up your uh, that's done so you need to configure the, your database and stuff like that mine is on the local host php my admin and i have a test database on my local host so I just need to set these credentials into our into my I just close this node modules folder and you need to go down to, to the dot env and as I just showed you I have a test database my username is root and I don't have any password on the on the local machine of course if you deploy your application you need different username and different password okay so you need to set it and match it to your database name and your username as well okay let's save this as well and let's open up one more git bash Okay, so let's just uh, run our migration. 
so php artisan migrate rt sun migrate okay migration was successful let's go back to the database if i hit refresh i have a user table as we expected and all we need to do is run a server now so php artisan serve okay and you can up you can open up your fresh brand new application on this uh, URI and here you go we have a freshly installed Laravel 7 exactly is Laravel 7.4 and we have the latest version of Bulma and the latest version of Bulma extension with it as well so if you click login as you can see we have the Bulma scaffolding and login so, so you could create your test user if you want to hit register and you are logged in as a test user if you check your database you have one user created and as you can see the Bulma is working okay thanks for watching if you have any question leave a comment and please subscribe thanks for watching bye